This is how you feel art. Here, these exhibitions show different ways to help the impaired enjoy the works on display by creating images in order to produce 3D art. One of our big focuses now is on accessibility as part of our focus on diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. And sometimes being accessible means translating things into different sensory realms. So can you make something visible for people who don't have, who have hearing impairments? Can you make something touchable for people who have visual impairments? Members of the National Federation of the Blind tried out the three-dimensional images that feature raised subjects and varying textures. Very often when we go to museums, we see glass enclosures with nothing for us. There's no there's no way for us to experience what our sighted counterparts experience. And this kind of is an equalizer for us. The technology was developed by 3D PhotoWorks. We've developed a technology that converts any two-dimensional image, any painting, drawing, collage, photograph, satellite view, to a three-dimensional tactile image. He says people with sight enjoy the images too. From a museum's position, it's growing what they call the dwell times for both the blind and the sighted. The sighted are spending more time learning about a visual than they would um, if it were just a photograph. The displays include a war scene, musical art painting, and a historical painting, as well as a campus map. This model, I think, is more reflective of even the more functionality of this tool, is this technology, as opposed to just art rendering, uh, because this actually has a functional use. So this one right here, I can read in Braille and, and see that it has a specific meaning, that this is a um, street. So the street has this texture, and this button also is audio representation of it as well. For the visually impaired, the technology helps them to be part of something they could not see before. This evolving technology really is about inclusion. It really is about making us a part of the world in which we live. Deborah Block, VOA News.